Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create dynamization with the help of simple dynamics and without the need of programming knowledge. This dynamization will force a color change that gets triggered by a click on a button. Open the display main in the graphic editor. This display is the standard display which is loaded in the default display's mainframe. For this example, we need a node. To create one, right-click on Objects and select Add Node, Data Variable, Boolean. Give the node the name Bool1. Select the Circle tool from the toolbar and draw a circle into the display area. Right-click on this circle and select Add Simple Dynamic. The Simple Dynamic dialog with its four areas pops up. In the first area, you can set the necessary user rights to execute this dynamization. Since there is no right required for this example, select None to skip the step. The next area called Event sets the trigger for the dynamization. The color change should react on a value change of the previous created node. So the Event Selection node is correct. Click the button with the three dots on it and select the node pool 1. Confirm the selection with OK. The drop-down field below has automatically changed the data type. At the step Result, you can pass on a value, manipulate it or time the following action. For the color change, none of these functions are necessary. Select None to skip this step. The fourth step sets the action to be executed. There are multiple possibilities. For this example, choose Color. The preselected action type discrete is correct. If the value is true, the fill color should turn green. Click the button with the three dots on it and select the green color tone from the color palette. Confirm your selection with OK. Click the button Add After to add a new condition. If the value is false, the fill color should turn gray. Change the value for the condition to false and select the gray fill color. Now save the changes with a click on OK. The simple dynamic has been added to the dynamization area. You can edit dynamizations with a right click on the corresponding entry. To trigger the color change, a value change has to be done first. Drag and drop the node from the project tree into the display area. Advice Builder automatically detects the data type and inserts a button that toggles Boolean values for the corresponding node. Save the display and open the visualization from the Advice Builder menu. Therefore, go to Guided Actions, open Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1. Test the dynamization now. As you see, the button shows the node's value too. Switch back to the Advice Builder. Now you are going to create a self-made button to toggle the value change. Select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar and draw a new element onto the display area. Right-click the rectangle and select Add Simple Dynamic. This time the trigger shouldn't be a value but a click. Select Mouse in the Event area. The trigger click is already selected. Because you need to know the node's actual value to change it to the opposite, activate the step Result with a click on Change Result. The preselection node is correct. Select the same node that has been used for the color change before. As action, the Boolean value has to be set to its opposite and written back to the node. Therefore select Node and as type choose condition-based values discrete. If the node's value is true, then false has to be written back to the node. As address, select the node pool 1 again. Set false as value in the text field. Click Add After to create a new condition. Now set the initial value to false, choose the same node as before and enter true as value in the text field. Save the dynamization with OK. The element simple dynamic has been added to the dynamization area. Every dynamization you create 
whether it's a quick or a simple dynamic, generates a script. These scripts can be edited with the script editor that is integrated in Advice Builder. Open the script editor from the toolbar. The first script block is responsible for the circle's color change. The second one does the value change triggered by your self-made button. Close the script editor and save the display. Now switch to the visualization. Reload the page in your browser and test your self-made button. Excellent! You created two dynamizations without any programming effort and now you know where to create or edit your own scripts.